much for tuning into my YouTube channel today. So today I wanted to talk about a super interesting and common topic. I wanted to talk about trying to conceive to have a baby. Um, and the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I feel like there are so many women, especially right now in this day and age, who are trying to conceive, you know what I mean, are trying to have a baby. It's just natural, you know what I mean? It's something that I believe that God gives all of us. Um, you know, all women just that desire, not all of us have that desire, but a nice handful have a desire to have a baby, you know what I mean? And so, um, the reason why I'm saying all of this is because I remember when I was, um, when I first got pregnant and, um, how when I first got pregnant, um, and I was having all these symptoms of pregnancy, I went straight to YouTube, um, looking up symptoms of pregnancy and what pregnant women go through and how do you know you're pregnant and, what I realized is that majority of the women, not all of them, but majority of the women who I was watching on YouTube had one thing in common. They all at one point were trying to conceive to have a baby, whether it was five months, whether it was two years, four years, seven, eight years. Um, even some women were even in their 50s where they never thought they were going to have children, um, you know, but they ended up getting pregnant you know and so all of these women at one point were trying to conceive and it was so funny because um i was just like man like you never realize or you never really know how many women um are uh how many women are really looking to have a baby you know and so the reason why i'm saying all this is because um i'm so grateful that i'm pregnant i am 17 weeks today so i am completely grateful to god that i even made it this far and i'm gonna make it to the end in jesus name but when i tell you i'm just so grateful you know it's just a great feeling to know that and to feel my baby moving is such a blessing and so um Anyways, what I wanted to talk about is um, how um, I remember when I was um, like a month before I had gotten pregnant, I thought I was pregnant. And um, I remember like thinking me and my husband, now if you guys don't know me and this is your first time watching my YouTube channel, um, me and my husband weren't necessarily trying to conceive to have a baby. However, um, we were like, if it happens, it happens. At the same time, we're just like, if it doesn't, we're where we want to be in life. We're enjoying each other. And, hey, you know, we're just enjoying life, you know. And so, anyway, the month prior, I remember thinking that I was pregnant. I mean, I had almost every symptom that you can think of um, that a pregnant woman would have. And I remember, um, well, not every symptom, but a, a lot of symptoms that people who are normally pregnant um have and so i remember um just feeling like you know this is going on and this is going on and um you know just just certain symptoms that i thought were from pregnancy um but come to find out i was not pregnant and i got my period and when i tell you that was um just not a good feeling the reason why it wasn't is because it's kind of like when you expect something, even though it's not something that you were really pushing for, but when you expect something and you think that it's that and you kind of put your whole heart into it and to be let down, it can be a really painful feeling. And it kind of feels like, well, was I tripping or can I even get pregnant? Because like, is there something wrong, you know? Because um, in my family, majority of the women got pregnant like their first time or they got pregnant like as soon as they got married or you know they my family is very fertile and so I even start to think like is there something wrong with me like you know and just all these thoughts these negative thoughts were coming to my mind you know from the enemy of course they're just bad thoughts from the enemy and I was just entertaining them and I began to get really down and I was just like is there something wrong with me or you know and so, anyway, you know, I had to have a little talk with God and um, just really get back to my right mind because that was just not me. And I was never a person to, um, I'm never one of those people to allow something to keep me down. And so God was just like, daughter, you know that's not true. 
You know what I'm saying? And just, you know, focus on your purpose. Focus on who you need to be. And when I begin to focus on my purpose and I joined this course um, to start flipping houses um, and I started like taking these classes for like flipping houses, it completely got my mind off of it because the whole reason why I really um, started even desiring to have a baby at that time was because I felt like I didn't have anything to do. I felt like I needed someone to take care of so that I would have something to do. You know, isn't that crazy? Sometimes we don't even realize, I'm not saying this is for every woman, but some women, you know, you don't may not realize it, but you might just want a baby right now because you're not doing anything. You know, you're not focusing on anything. You're not pushing yourself to be the greatest person that you can be. And that's not a put down. Sometimes some women are meant to have lots of children and that's their purpose in life. You know, where they're supposed to be that mother, you know, forever. But then there's some other women who God, you know, he's put so many other things in, in, inside of you, you know, that you can um, look into as well. And so anyway, yeah, so the main reason why I started in that month I started wanting a baby is because I felt like I didn't have anything to do I wasn't doing anything and so I felt like I need something to do I need a baby I need to take care of somebody so I can have something to do and it was just it's just you know it was just not that wasn't the best so yeah anyway, I want to wrap up this video um, but anyway um, I'm getting to a point here so um, I just started focusing on my purpose. I started focusing on who I need to be, flipping houses, focusing on my job, um, focusing on my husband and how I could love and serve him, and focusing on me, having some girl time, enjoying myself. And before I knew it, I was good. I was so happy. I was fine. I'm just like, I am not going to allow that to get to me. Like, when it's time, it'll happen. I wasn't even focused on that before. But just that one little negative thought and all those things, it's just made things awful and so anyway um yeah i was like really just like down and all those things and so um yeah so i was like super down and i started to feel better i started to get myself back and i'm like you know i really just don't care when it happens it'll happen and i just i'm not focused on that i need to be focused on bettering myself especially when i'm going to be having a baby i need to really be focused on who I need to be and where I'm headed towards and it's funny because God he definitely has a plan because we were not expecting it at all we weren't necessarily trying to have a baby um it kind of happened so uh the next month is when um weird stuff started happening now these this was different from the month prior um weird things started happening to me like I started um I remember like I, and I made a video about this I'm not gonna go into all the details but um, I started getting really nauseous now I never ever get nauseous unless I'm on my period and I am cramping to the point where I just don't like I just start throwing up but I'm not a type of person that gets sick fast I, I'm just not that person and I started getting really really nauseous and I'm like this is weird like this is not like me but I'm like I am not pregnant and I'm not about to think that right now because that's just not what it is I'm tripping I did this last month I need to focus on who I need to be lo and behold I took a pregnancy test and it was positive so I was shocked right when I got my mind off of that right when I didn't allow that to get me down right when I began to focus on who I needed to be that's when I got a positive pregnancy test which is weird because I wasn't even really expecting it or really um, desiring it in that moment really at that time and if that makes sense I was just like I'd rather wait until later when I'm ready you know and so yeah it was just it was crazy and so it's funny how God says some things you know sometimes he just wants you to trust him and I'm not saying that the waiting part is easy it's never easy sometimes it is so hard and people don't understand how difficult that can be to go through that especially when you're trying to conceive or you're trying to have a baby and you just need someone to encourage you and uplift you and all those things and so um yeah but I just wanted to say all that to say that right now I know there's tons of women who are watching this video who are like I'm trying to conceive and you just need to be encouraged whatever you do do not give up 
your baby is coming. Do not give up. I don't care what a doctor says. I don't care what they diagnose you with. You are what you believe. And if you allow someone to convince you that you are not going to have this baby, it will not happen. But if you believe in yourself and you keep pushing and you keep doing what it takes, you will have a baby. Don't let anybody discourage you or get you down, even if it's your partner, because sometimes the partner can get discouraged and they say things out of this out of feeling discouraged and you have to be able to filter and say you know what I'm not gonna receive that I am stronger than this and keep doing what it takes and keep believing yourself watch positive videos don't watch videos about miscarriages you know unless they're encouraging videos whatever you watch whatever you listen to is what you become you know and so when you let in negative things when you let in things that make you feel sad or make you feel like oh like you're gonna feel sad you're gonna feel awful after you get and watch those videos but if you watch positive videos like this one you're gonna feel so much better and so much more motivated guess what even if your period comes this month or tomorrow or the next day you still have time to have a baby do not give up on your baby your baby is coming do not give up you got this you know what I'm saying and just just don't give up you got it in you you know and I just pray that no matter what don't let anybody break you don't let this get you down you are made to create remember that every human being is made to recreate you're made to create you're going to create a baby okay and so I just wanted to say that to encourage you guys because I know um, just that one moment I can't imagine how women feel we're waiting for two three four five six seven years that can be very 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 hard you know and people don't realize how how that can be like ugh, you feel like a, like a punch in the stomach but you're gonna get through it and you're going to have your baby stay focused on the positive you know you are what you believe you are and you are what you let in what you believe you know and so you're going to have the baby just keep pushing keep going and believe in yourself you you are the number one you're your number one supporter i don't care if mom dad doesn't believe in you if cousins sisters brothers don't believe in you you have to believe in it because you are more than enough you're conquering you got this so all I wanted to say thank you so much if you guys have any other questions um, or any videos that you would like to watch that you would like to see um, definitely definitely let me know comment down below you know or even I'm a type of person I know some of you guys are not religious and I don't like to go by religious because I feel like religious is like traditional um, but I have a spiritual connection with God and I am Christian Okay, so I just want to get that out there. Um, and so if you would like for me to like pray for you or anything like that, or you just really want to be encouraged, let me know and I am open to pray for you guys. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much and have an amazing day. Bye guys. Oh, don't forget to comment, don't forget to like, and don't forget to subscribe. That was awful, but it's okay.